Jared Shiftless for another update on my glorious wagon that's coming along rather nicely. Mark, good to see you again. Good to see you. So last time we were here, we saw all the awesome work that's going on underneath the car. We still mm -hmm. got some steps ahead of us, but we're running into a few issues now that none of us could have foreseen. Uh, right. What's going on? Well, first of all, we have the steering. The steering box was really huge in this thing. Yeah. We had to remove it so we could get some headers down through there. Right. And also put our engine in. Right. So now we actually have to go with a rack and pinion, you know, whether it be Ford Thunderbird. Yep. But we're doing all these different measurements yeah. and it's going to be crazy <laughs> just like these engine mounts. Now, you mentioned something about the measurements to me when we last chatted uh, over email. If we went with the one kit that we were talking about, yeah. what would have happened there? Well, if you were going to do a U-turn, yeah. it was going to be like 47 feet Okay. when you really need like 30. So right, so like a semi-truck. Right? Yeah, oh, or a suburban or something yeah, off. Be way, way, way. You'd be yeah. doing like a 20-point turn just to make a U-turn in the jack-in-the-box. Now, if we wanted to just go straight, that wouldn't be too oh, much yeah, of a problem. No, no, We'd be, like to turn with this thing. We would love steering to turn. angle. Yeah, um, nice. So after, after we get steering, because I know you guys have mm -hmm. figured it out because you guys are awesome here, um, electrical. We're going to start yanking out all that old stuff. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of all that diesel stuff. Right. And we're just going to start implanting that new one in. All right, all right. And then so now we have to also source a new gas tank. Gas tank's going to be important. Right. Uh, I think you mentioned through email. I'm trying to look on like Pelican Parse to see. I'm on the Benz forums to see if we can swap, uh, you know, same year uh, gas fuel tanks, swap a diesel in, or swap a diesel out, I should say. Um, so I'm hunting down that. I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, so I can actually do something besides bring the car here and, and you know, help you guys out. So, um, so we, got, we got steering, we got electrical, we got gas tank. But after that... Radiator. Right, we have a guy working on that. We have a guy working on radio. What about drive shaft? I have no idea. Ooh, <laughs> so boy. we got to talk to some people about that too. Yeah, and it's going to have to be you know equal to that. Yep. Transmission from yep. Mopar to Mercedes Benz. That may be a trick. <laughs> yeah. Different end caps and different uh, everything. Yeah. So. so so we got we got we got a few issues here. Nothing insurmountable. No, all doable. Unsurmountable. I don't know what the correct word is. I'm not like I'm an editor of a website or something. Um, so steering, electrical. So we got a few more things on the checklist, but I mean. We're in a good place. Initially, we were concerned about how this engine and trans are gonna fit, and it fits beautifully. It fits great. We've got the floor back in place. The carpeting's pretty much folded back over. So, I mean. Seats are back in it. Yeah. We're gonna have that shifter. I don't think that's gonna be an issue at all. We can just run a cable there, maybe a little rod or something. Right, right. But other than that, I think we're golden. Okay, so. We just have, like I said, just a couple things up underneath here for the yeah, steering. Yeah. And rest, I think, will be smooth sailing from here on out. Awesome, you heard it there. So hopefully within sometime in 2015, this thing's gonna be ruining the, the rear tires that we got from Michelin, the AS3s. Uh, it's not these old ass Michelins that are on here. We got some new Michelins. Uh, so I'll see you next time. All right. All right, I'll go find that gas tank. Cool, <laughs> go.